All right, so recently we uh, just went through our big pickup of a bunch of movies. So we're going to start listing the next set of movies. And I kind of gathered up the ones that I have picked up recently that I haven't listed. So there's about three or four different pickups here that is in one area. So that way I can just start going through them. We can just start off up here. And you can see some titles here. Uh, this Cubics one looks interesting. WB. Pick that one up. Of course, Ernest Goes to Jail. Those ones always do well. We got Spider-Man. I love this movie. Oh, Spider-Man 2. That one's good, but not as good as regular Spider-Man. We got Casablanca, Raising Arizona. Uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That This version isn't worth that much, but if you can get an early MCA version, then uh, it's starting to worth some money there. We got a fish called Wanda. Ferris Bueller does alright. Good movie. Does alright. Cold Comfort Farm. We have sold this before on DVD. It is the first time that we came across it on VHS. So when I went there one day to the thrift store that I like to go to a lot. They had a lot of like mafia style movies. So they're all in these hard cases here. There's also other ones, but like this Vern Miller, Miller's Crossing, which we just listed on DVD the other day. They had Benji, two different Benjis there, which was pretty cool. Uh, this Beckett, which we just listed the other day, the Seventh Sign, we found that numerous times. A rocker. Rocky Horror Show one. Um, so we got two different ones there. There's also another cover that we find sometimes, and that one does uh, it does okay. It's a couple dollars. So you got Basic Instinct. We got two covers or two copies here that we recently just picked up. Um, that one does all right too. Dead again, we find that one. St Strange Brew. I find this movie a lot. It's kind of funny. Um, it's like five bucks or something. We got Drumline. Tommy Boy. Uh, you find that one a lot. That's another one that can sell for you quickly. Down here we have Hoffa. The Great Outdoors. I mean, this one's clean. And I just can't leave behind. So, pick that one up. We got the Blue Lagoon. And I think there's also Return to Blue Lagoon somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. Mortal Sins. Thought this one was going to be worth a little bit. It does have Christopher Reeves in it. but uh, Or Christopher Reeve. And it's... A movie I've never seen out there. The Sicilian. We have found this one a few times. It's worth a couple bucks. There was When a Stranger Calls Back and When a Stranger Calls. This one can be worth like 20 bucks, but it's a little bit rough. Um, Roadhouse. Great movie. And Coming to America. Great movie. Coming to America is like... 7 to 10, Roadhouse, maybe 5 bucks. Um, as you know, like Night of the Living Dead, or these movies are produced uh, by numerous companies. So you can find a lot of different versions of the cover. But what looked interesting was this movie, The Human Monster. So I kind of was keeping that to watch. I haven't listed yet. See, we got Paul McCartney's Broad Street. I don't know this one. Looks interesting. If it's some music, could be pretty good. 
Brubaker. Was that some Robert Redford? So uh, Prince of the City from Dust Till Dawn. The guy that I work with was actually talking about this movie the other day. I said I haven't seen it in so long. Maybe I need to rewatch this one. We got Aliens, Dead Presidents, Cheech and Chong. And then you have, of course, you, you go out there and you find Alien in the CBS Fox version. And you're going to be worth a little bit more money on that one. Uh, we got this John Madden one. I mean, these oddball ones I just pick up just because. Uh, we'll list like romance ones. And I try to list the ones that are not so common. Office Space. It's funny, I hadn't found this movie at all on VHS or DVD. Don't really pay as much attention to DVD, but within like a two week span, I had three copies. Um, just got some movies that are just. Could be worth something here. Crocodile Hunter. Don't really come across this and it's super clean. Of course, Workout Ones. New York, New York. Some like it hot. I believe that one's sealed. This one does sell. There is different versions. A Rod Carew batting thing. Batting one that's sealed. Pretty cool. I mean, I'm paying like five cents for these sometimes. The Ice Storm, which we just had a sealed copy that we listed. I know it's not worth too much, but. So, uh, Lucy's Lost Episodes. Don't like a colorized version of Lucy, but I had come across. There was like an estate sale and it was a ton of media there and they had it for like a week and then they didn't have it for another month and they had it again. And we picked up some Lucy episodes and I put one in I ended up watching like two or three episodes and it's just good classic humor and I found myself laughing so I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. It was good. It was funny but I remember it as a kid watching it so here what else we got um untouchables again here's another mob one i believe that was there the rope uh, yeah alfred hitchcock if i find his i just pick him up anyway dirty pretty little dirty pretty things we found this one numerous times copland city hall ghost stories Baby boy. Summer of Sam. Find that one a lot. Drop Zone. This one. Find that on Blu-ray. That's like 30 bucks. A Hand That Rocks Cradle. Judgment in Berlin. Uh, that one is... I don't know that movie, but... Wizard of Oz, um, this is a clean version of this style, pretty cool, I have found this one numerous times, and this one here, this one sells for more, this one does sell too, Full Metal Jacket, that will sell, Taxi Driver can sell, um, a blockbuster version probably will help it sell. The Life of David Gill. I don't know if this is a uh, 2003, so it's getting up there. I don't ever find this one. Body Heat. I do find that one with a different cover. Here we have like uh, Kelly's Heroes, my dad's movie. He likes that movie a lot. Striking Distance. Don't really know that movie too much. But yeah, Kelly's Heroes. 
That's my dad's movie. Got a Mother Teresa. Um, the Princess and the Goblin. I don't know that, but it looks like it could be worth something. Rambo. I like Rambo 1. You'll find these out there a lot. Rambo does usually sell, so keep your eye out on that. If you're fine with making a few bucks. And then there's always the oddball thing. So here we got Alcatraz. It's not an island. I had one. It was like the Intex swimming pool. How to set it up. So I do keep those. I mean, I'll sell them, but I do pick them up. I mean, you go out to yard sales, estate sales, you find oddball stuff. So, yeah, I got some new cool movies to work on and going to be messing with these throughout the next few weeks. Of course, I jump around, but now I have them all laid out and kind of get through them a little bit quicker because I know what I'm working on.